have you heard from in the last 24 or 48 hours? I don't know how long it's been. It seems like a blur now. But. Yeah, um, I mean, too many, too many people, you know, yeah. uh, to, 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 you know, speak about, you know, one by one. So, I mean, I'm just grateful for everything that's been going on. I was going to say Walter Camp National Player of the Year of the Week. Excuse me, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Uh, Big Ten Player of the Week, you know, what do those things mean to you? Man, that means a lot. It means a lot. I, I, I never saw that coming, you know. Uh, at my first start, I was just hoping to go out there and win a game for the team, you know, and I told myself I was going out and I was going to have fun. I was going to have fun with my brothers and go out and try to win a game for my team. And, and to get those kind of accolades with it, that's, man, it's, it's a blessing. Can you imagine everybody who comes to school here has aspirations and mm -hmm. to play at the next level, but when you're the backup quarterback, you don't have an opportunity to showcase what you can do. You know, is, that a, is that a dream that you ever let go of in the way you've performed the last two weeks? Do you think that you've sort of maybe given yourself at least a little bit of a platform to take that next step? Um, I don't think I, I, I let go of a dream at all. You know, um, I've always had to go to, to, you know, start a game here. And um, I, that goal was accomplished this past weekend. I didn't, you know, I, didn't, I, I never want anything bad to happen to anyone, you know, any of my teammates for sure. So, but um, it was an opening for opportunity. And um, I just want to take full advantage of it. Is there ever a time, I mean, coaches want competition at every position. Mm -hmm. Is there ever a time, though, when too much competition at quarterback can be a bad thing? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think uh, quarterback, you, you, being a backup, I think seeing that competition helps me push Braxton, you know. And um, I want to push him to be the best player he can be. And um, I think he does the same thing to me. You know, seeing him play, I want to be able to, do those same things sometimes, and, and you know, I want to be able to excel. Kenny, the coach just talked about how far you've come in these last 18 months. Where were you 18 months ago? What was, what were maybe some of the things you weren't doing right that kind of had to get you on track? Um, I just think I had a, a basically a, uh, just to be blunt about it, I think I had a childish mentality, you know. Um, I, I wasn't much of a leader of the team. If I was, it, it wasn't, you know, great leadership or anything like that. So, um, I think I just kind of grew up and um, just became a leader and, and leading guys in the right way. What kind of spurred that maturity in you? Um, I, I would say I would say Coach Meyer. He he really brought brought the best out of me. You know, he uh, a guy that he, he knows how to bring the best out of his players, and he definitely did it to me. And um, and I'm I'm blessed for that. Talk about that blunt talk though that he's all about. <laughs> yeah. You know. Was it shocking to some of the guys on the team to be sort of called out? I mean, you know, and yeah, um, in the team, you know, you know, I mean, meetings, yeah. things like that. Just I get what you're saying. How, and the, the effect it has. I mean, it was shocking at first, and uh, you know, you don't know who who exactly is coming in to be a coach, and um, it was shocking at first. But after a while, you know, everyone caught on, and, and, and everyone knows, you know, why why he's doing it, and um, to get the best out of his players, and, and it and uh, it, it's worked. You know, with his resume, we know we just have to follow his plan, and we'll be okay. Can everyone talk about? Talk about the mental reps and things like that that you do in practice. If you had, like, what's sort of your guidebook of how to be a backup? What are the keys that a that a guy who's not starting has to do in practice every week to make sure that he's ready? Uh, I would just say film study, um, knowing exactly what the game plan is, knowing what we're trying to exploit on the defense, and and just always staying ready, you know, always staying ready. If you have to stay after practice, throw a few extra routes. Um, if you're not getting those reps that you you know you want. So when the when the ones in the past, when the ones were repping in practice, would you be behind Braxton, getting the read on the defense, doing the same? Would you do the, like a, a drop back with him too, or how much would you actually run through the motions? Oh, uh, definitely. I'll be right. I'll be about 10, 15 yards behind him, making sure you know no one runs into me or anything. I don't want to hurt anybody, but um, yeah, I make sure I'm back. And I'm just going through the drops, and I'm going through my reads on that on that play, making sure we, me and him, are thinking the same things. On a level, well, how do you handle this, Kenny? Do you just kind of ride this as long as you can, as long as they need you, do the best you can, or do you think, hey, maybe, maybe I can compete for the starting job? Even um, right now, I just um, I'm letting the coaches handle that. You know, I just I just want to come out and do what I what I can do every day. I come out and. I want to prepare like a pro and um, go out and play like a pro, you know, and that's one thing we always say. Uh, if, if you want to be a man, you have to go out and try, try to and be a man. Well, might we see you two on the field together at the same time? Uh, I'm not sure about that. I have no clue.
does this team ready to play? If, if the Big Ten season were to start right now, would this team be ready to play in the Big Ten game yet, or is there still things that need to be ironed out this week? Um, yes, yeah, so I think we'll be ready to play. Um, I think we're a team that, that we know when the, when the light is shined bright on us and um, when, when we need to step up. So, and I think we step up at times we need to, and um, I think we, we, we're ready. If you're ready to play now, then what, do you, what can you get out of playing a bowl championship series team like Florida and Alabama? I mean, I, I, um, that's where you, you come out and you sharpen up your tools, you know. We're going to come out, we're going to, we want to be, you know, um, we want to be perfect, you know. I mean, it's, it's, you're never going to be perfect, but, I mean, that's what you play for. Is this a test of leadership, though, this week, playing a, a team like that? Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Every, every weekend is a test of leadership. Something's going to happen where your leaders have to step up. And so, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a big test this weekend, you know. Um, we don't want anybody coming in underestimating our opponent or anything like that. We want to come out and do what we should do. One thing that Urban Meyer continues to say about you is, can you imagine being that guy's parents? <laughs> How have your parents sort of reacted to this special couple weeks for you? Oh, it's crazy. Um, it's kind of unexplainable. I actually talked to my parents yesterday for, after I found out I was the National Player of the Week. I actually talked to them for at least two hours on the phone. <laughs> And um, it's crazy, you know, uh, my family's, I have a big family, and um, we, we were very tight-knit. And um, me coming way up here, you know, they don't get a chance to make too many games, so just getting a chance to hear their voices and them telling me how loud they're screaming at the screen and everything is just, man, it's, it's a great feeling that comes over my body. The other, thing that, the other thing that Meyer continues to say is, can you imagine what he's going to do after his college career? I, I know it's a little early, but do you have a vision for you? what you want that to be since Meyer keeps bringing it um, up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all right now, but I, I, I am considering the coaching thing. I, I, I think I could be pretty good at it, and I, I wouldn't mind. It's something I love, you know, something I love football. Kenny, you watch football games on television. Maybe you don't, but do you see teams that you clearly could be the guy for around the country? I mean, does it, and does, you know, you know the questionnaire, does it ever make you wonder what could have been? Um, I, I get what you're saying. Um, I mean, I look at teams and I think, you know, I, I don't want to downgrade any quarterbacks in yeah. this nation, you know, anything. But I look at teams and I think, yeah, I, I could probably play and do something for that team. But, um, I mean, I'm here. I'm here, you know, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm in my senior year having fun. I'm a leader, a captain, and so I, I, can't, I don't regret anything. 18 Coach. months ago, what were, you, what, what were some of the things that you did 18 months ago? Give, give us some examples of some of the things that the, when you were in a bad place, what were some of the things that you did? They're really graphic. Go into great detail. About no, I'm, not, I'm just not sure. Tied your shoes backwards. Yeah. I, I, I mean, did you just sort of, I mean, were you, did you have sort of a, um, a carefree attitude toward the new coaching staff? You, you weren't into, you know, looking at film much. What, what were some of the things that you did? Um, I don't think it was any of that or anything. I just, I just, I don't know. I'm really not sure to tell you the truth. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that right now. Not sure. Coach Meyer mentioned today that you know Braxton's getting healthier and he, mm -hmm. he termed improbable for this week. If if he comes back, stays healthy, plays the rest of the year, are you sitting here and okay with hey that's the way it goes? Or hey, it's way? it's um that that's the coach's decision, you know, and I just I'm I'm happy with whatever with whatever you know they they decide to do. I'm all with the team, you know, and I've I've been like that for four and a half years. Why change now, you know, and so. I'm, I'm here for whatever's best for the team, and when my number's called, I'll be ready. We asked you Saturday night, though, and I, I don't remember the, the, a clear answer on this. Was there a moment last week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, where somebody walked up to you and said, Kenny, you're starting? Um, there was never really that moment, but uh, I was practicing with the ones all week and everything. You were assuming, so I, huh? Yeah, I was assuming all week, you know, and everything. But uh, it was never one moment where I just was told I was. Did start. you think there would be? You understand what I'm saying? I mean, did you think there would be that moment? I mean, that somebody was cleared um, up for you? Um, kinda. But at the same time, I was just. Uh, I mean, the way I was preparing and everything, and the way that you know the coaches were talking to me and everything, I could kind of tell. Are you ever a moment when you? Yeah, actually, right before the game, you know, as I as I ran out for warm ups with the team, you know, and and they and Coach Ma actually called up one offense, and I I had to run out with him, you know. That's when I noticed, like, hmm. man, I'm really out here about to start my first game, and it's away. Because of this offense, do you guys need two quarterbacks? I mean, you guys, the quarterbacks run a lot, uh, exposed to hits a lot. Do you guys almost need two quarterbacks in this offense? Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you need to. Um, I'm not sure about that. Uh, but 
I think it's a plus that we do have two good quarterbacks that can go out there and, and operate the offense. Can you talk about that, like we said earlier, when you would run the reps behind the ones and go mm -hmm. through the motions? What was that like in practice then when you were out there the whole week with the one, uh, considering all the times that you had yeah. sort of been the shadow in the background? Mm -hmm. Um, it was a little weird at first, you know. I, I had to get comfortable, you know. I'm um, getting all those reps and all those throws in a, in, in a few days, you know. Um, I, it took a lot of treatment on my shoulder, you know. I, I hadn't thrown that much in a while since camp, so um, I mean, it was a little weird at first. But I, I actually told Philly, man, I'm starting to get comfortable out here with you guys, man, and, and it, it's a lot of fun. And I, and I know you've been saying it's, it's up to the coaches, but I mean, do you really is there a scenario where you think? Two quarterbacks could help this team, where both you and Braxton have a role week to week with this team. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm really, I really have no clue on that right now. You know, um, like I said, I'll just let them handle it, and I'll see what what they have for it, and I'm all, I'm all in. You seem What's to be a guy who box? likes the. You seem to be a guy who likes the spotlight, though. Who mm -hmm. likes? I mean, you guys were talking last week that you're a trash talker out there on the field. <laughs> that, that you seem to be a guy that like you're not afraid of. Of the spotlight and all this. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not afraid at all. I'm not afraid at all. I, I like, like I said, I like to go out and I'm gonna have fun every time I hit the field. I, that's, that's my, that's my goal. I'm, I'm gonna go out and have fun with the guys that that I'm having fun with every other day, you know. And so, it's just a plus to be able to go out there and, and show what I can do, you know. And so, man, it's, it's so much fun. It's just, I feel like it's, I'm, it's a blessing for me to come all the way from Houston, Texas. As you, watch, at this university. as you watch video from the other night, watching from the press box, you look very at ease running the option and things like that. I mean, natural. I mean, it, were you surprised as you watched how smoothly you were running things? Of course, you had a whole game the week before and stuff too, but yeah. where'd that come from, I guess? Um, I think last week helped out a lot with just getting comfortable in the game. You know, um, there was a lot of nerves running through my body, you know, and everything just – you know, just when you don't know you're starting and everything. And so knowing that you're actually starting and, and um, the preparation I had going into that game, I, I think it I, it was no reason to really be nervous, even though I was, because I was so prepared and um, I knew everything that, that that defense could do. And and that speed option stuff, um, I, I love being on the edge. I talk, love being on the edge. Talk so about that moment, though, the, the pass to, to Devin. Mm -hmm. Quarterbacks have always talked about that quiet of the pocket where all of a sudden everything comes together and you. Mm -hmm. Talk about that pass to Devin. It was a 90-yarder. You looked very <laughs> poised, smooth. What was it like that those couple of seconds there? Um, I see. I think the first play actually set up that that play for yeah. Devin because um, we we actually ran a little bubble into the boundary where Chris caught it and Devin blocked. And so when we did a play action and ran that same bubble, their whole defense ran towards the bubble. And so all I had to do was lay it out there for Devin, and, and you know with his speed, I knew he was gonna go get it and. He'll do the rest. But your thoughts there when all of a sudden it's breaking wide open. Mm -hmm. Talk about those thoughts. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, as a quarterback, did you? It was crazy. I, um, actually, when I when I throw the ball, I try not to think, to tell you the truth. Because mm -hmm. um, when I think, that's when everything goes wrong, you know. I just yeah. try to, hey, he's open, get him the ball, you know. Okay. And um, that's the type of mentality I come with. I, I, I got to trust my reads and, and just go with the, my instinct. You said you talked to your parents yesterday. Did you call them last week at all and tell them, hey, I'm starting, or were they at the game? I was actually talking to, to them throughout the whole week. You know, um, when they, from last week when they saw me playing and everything, they was just asking me, you know, throughout the week, um, what, what are you thinking, what are you thinking? And so talking to them throughout the week actually helped me out a lot, and, and it was kind of kind of obvious after a while that I was going to get the start. So. It was pretty cool. Has Braxton stayed pretty involved with you this, this entire time, or is he giving you your space to do your thing? Uh, he's been involved. He's been involved. He's been helping me out a lot. Um, we, he's in there watching film when I'm watching and everything, and so he knows what I'm looking for. And, and just like, you know, when he's the starter and everything, I'm watching and I want to know everything that's going on with the defense just in case my number's called. So it was the, kind of the same thing. And um, as I came to the sideline, he was sitting on the bench next to me talking to me and Coach Herman in the headset. So he was a big help. Is this agony for him right now? I mean, he was a preseason Heisman, at mm -hmm. one point the Heisman front runner. Now yeah. he's missed two games, literally. What's this like for him right now? Um, I think he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Um, I mean, yeah. injuries happen. It's uh, it's football, you know. And uh, he'll, I think he'll be all right. He'll come back strong. And uh, he'll, he'll make his run for it and everything. And uh, I think he'll be okay. Can you get an idea? When we asked Coach Meyer about what's going to happen when Braxton comes back, 
said it's up to the coaches. He says, you know, well, I'd, I'd like to keep Kenny involved. You know, he talks about he thinks he might have to find a way to get you on the field. Just how does it make you feel to know that you have played so well that Urban Meyer has to say to himself, man, I got to get this other quarterback on the field somehow? Man, that's 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 it right there. You know, every, everything you just said, um, and that's it's, like I said, it's another blessing, man. I can't thank no one but God. You know, and. Um, Coach Meyer saying that, I just, man, it, it keeps me going, you know, and I, it, it keeps me going. I keep preparing, keep preparing, and and hopefully I, I will. The starter backup thing with, with you and Braxton, depending on who's who, does it only work if you guys are friends or friendly? It looks like, it seems like you guys have a pretty good relationship. Yeah. In other words, if you guys didn't have that relationship, does this whole thing kind of go south? Um, I really, I, I wouldn't want to know, you know. I, I, I'd always want to be cool with Braxton. Um, um, he's another brother on this team. Just because we're in competition, I don't want to be, you know, a guy that's, you know, enemies with him, you know. And uh, so I, I'll always be cool with Braxton no matter what happens. And so I'm just leave it there. Thanks. Kenny, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks a lot.